what is going on guys welcome back to another video of sorts application development series in android studio in last video we have successfully connected our application to the firebase in this video we are going to create account using email and password so let's go to sign up activity and bind all the views so previously we used to do find view by id but for this project we will be using view binding so to enable view binding let's go to build at gradle here inside this android scope we can add build features and inside the build features view binding will be true so that it will create the binding for our views automatically click on sync now now you can close this so in sign up activity let's initialize binding so we'll create a binding it will be activity sign up binding it is automatically created and in on create binding equals to activity sign up binding dot inflate layout inflator and in set content view we'll use binding dot root so in this way we have enabled the binding so first thing we will do is on click of the submit button so binding dot submit button dot set on click listener whenever the user click on this sign up button that is our submit button we'll do something what we'll do we'll sign up so we'll create a method sign up here we'll create a function here we'll do the validation and do the sign up so whenever we click on submit button it will come to this function and here first we will get the email password and confirm password so for that let's create some variable email email input binding dot email input dot text dot to string so we'll get the email from email input in the same way we will do for password binding dot password input and for confirm password binding dot confirm password input so first we'll validate the email either it is correct email or not so for that we'll use the pattern if patterns dot email address dot matcher email dot matches if pattern matches means if it is a correct email id so we will do opposite if it is not correct email id we will show the error so binding dot email input dot set error email not valid and we will directly return from here so if email is invalid we don't go ahead now we will check for password length so password dot length is less than 6 if the password length is less than 6 then also we'll show the error binding dot password input dot set error minimum six character you can change your input text according to you and return from here also if password is not equal to confirm password if password and confirm password are not same then also we'll show the error binding dot confirm password input dot set error password not matched and we'll return from here so in this way we will do validation for all three things if all the validation are passed it will come to this line that means we will sign up so what we will do we'll sign up with firebase we'll create a method here so after everything is validated we'll go to sign up with firebase let's create a function sign up with firebase here we'll use the firebase sign up so here first thing we will do is whenever we click on sign up progress bar should be visible and whenever sign up happened it should be invisible so let's create a method for that i will create above the sign up function set in progress so here i will take boolean in progress as boolean so if in progress is true true that means it is in progress binding dot progress bar visibility will be visible so view dot visible so progress bar will be visible and the button will be invisible so binding dot submit button dot visibility will be gone so it will be gone not invisible it will be gone else means it is not in progress then we will do just opposite progress bar will be gone submit button will be visible so whenever we are in progress progress bar will be visible whenever we are not in progress button will be visible so whenever we are signing up with a firebase first thing we will do is set in progress that will be true means we are in the progress now we will create account using firebase so how to do that firebase auth dot get instance dot create user with email and password we have this method create user with email and password click it and here we will pass email and password we will take it in sign up firebase so how we will take that email string password string so we will get it from this method here we will pass email and password so from this edit text we got the email that we are passing to this function sign up with firebase so from here we will pass it to firebase auth so email will be email password will be password so in this way it will automatically create the account if you add on success listener 
we can see if it is success or not we can show a toast for now application context success length will be short dot show so we'll just testing it by creating an account with email and password let's run and test so here we are in sign up activity let's just click directly our validation is working or not so you can see over here we have this email not valid because we have not added email so test at gmail.com let's say if we click on sign up it will say password minimum character is six let's give six character that is one two three four five six and let's give random confirm password so it will say password not matched so we'll give the correct password here one two three four five six now if we click on sign up it should sign up so progress bar is visible and we have this success message we have not disabled the progress bar that we will do but we have the success message if you go over here in the authentication go to users so we have successfully created one user that is test at gmail.com and it has assigned the user id also we have the date we have the identifier so in this way our create account is working but we don't want only to be created here we want the user information in the database also not only in authentication we want to store in database also so for that we will enable first firestore database go to build firestore database create database start in test mode next you can select any location click on enable so this will create cloud firestore database since we want to some user information here we don't only want in authentication we want to store the user information in authentication as well as in firestore database so what i will do i will just delete this user as of now we were only testing so let's delete this account now let's get back to the project here what we will do go to assistant and we have to add the sdk for cloud firestore let's go to cloud firestore and add the cloud firestore sdk to our application accept changes so now we can use the cloud firestore so what we will do over here whenever we are success we'll create a user which will have email address user id and other things so how we will do that let's create a model for that let's go to our package new let's create a new package that will be model where we will be adding all the models now go to model package new kotlin class and let's select data class this will be the data model that's why data class give the name user model enter so we have this data class and inside this parenthesis we have to add the items so what will be the items you can only decide let's be user id that will be string by default it will be empty string email also in the same way we will have username also in the same way we will have profile picture that we will implement later but for now profile picture url will be string and also we will have follower list and following list so we will add follower and following later on so it will be mutable list of string so that we can increase and decrease the followers we will provide by default mutable list of empty list same way following list user will have mutable list of string which will be empty mutable list at first so our data class is ready you can add more information but for as of now we want only this let's go to sign up activity so whenever we have successfully created the account in ads on success listener what we will do we will get the auth result here you can see auth result we have so from this auth result we will get the user so we have the user in auth result if user is there that means it will be nullable if user is there inside let method what we will do we will give the name user and if user is there that means account is created in this authentication successfully user is created on this authentication now with that user we will take the id of that user and email of that user so for that we will make a user model this is the data class that we have will be user model and inside this we will add some items what will be the items the id email username profile picture follower list and following list so let's add id so id we will take from user dot id there we can see over here we have the user uid that we will take so user dot uid second is the email third thing we are storing username so what we will do for the username if user has added the test at the gmail dot com we will extract this test from here and it will be the username whatever the value is before this at the rate that will be the username so for that i will write email dot substring before at the rate so whatever it is before at the rate it will be the username so these three things we require as of now 
and profile picture will be empty follower and following list will be empty string so that's okay we have created the user model this we have to save in this cloud fire store so how to do that we will use firebase fire store firebase dot fire store dot import firebase fire store dot collection we will create a collection of users in the users collection we will add document document id will be user dot uid and we'll set the data what will be the data that will be newly created user model so here user model and we'll add on success listener to this also so that we will get to know when user is created so here we will show the toast so instead of writing toast every time what i will do i will create a util package and inside this util package i will create a class that will be ui util so it will be object type we'll create one function that is so toast we'll take context and we'll take a message and here we will show toast dot make text context message will be message length will be long and we'll show the toast so we'll call this so toast from anywhere we want to show the toast in sign up activity ui util dot so toast context will be application context message will be account created successfully so in this way the account will be created and after this we will set in progress to false so that this progress bar will be invisible after creating the account and once we created the account successfully we'll go to main activity start activity intent application context and main activity class dot java so whenever we are success we'll go to main activity and we'll finish this activity so the sign up activity will be finished now one more thing we have if we have success this will show this message but if the failure happens if any exception happens we have to add on failure listener also so on failure listener so whenever we are failed it will give the exception we will just show ui util dot show toast message will be from this exception that is it dot localized message if there is no localized message we will show something went wrong and we will set in progress to false so if it is failed we are not moving to main activity let's run and test everything is working or not let's give the email address at captain at gmail dot com password will be one two three four five six confirm password also same and let's click on sign up either account is created or not so you can see over here account created successfully we are in the main activity let's go to the firebase and see if everything is working or not let's reload this user we have the user captain at gmail.com we have uid also let's go to the firestore database and you can see over here we have users collection inside that collection we have the user id that is from authentication and we have email follower list empty following list is empty we have id we have profile picture and the username that is extracted from email itself in this way our sign up feature is working absolutely fine in next video we will design the login activity and also we will implement the login feature so that we can login with the credential of already created account if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye